For me, fine art photography is like discovering that perfect piece of uncut marble, the one from which Michelangelo himself would carve away the rough surface in order to expose its hidden statuary beauty. I'm Mark Blake, and in this video I'm going to take an object that you wouldn't necessarily consider as a subject for an art study and give it an artistic treatment. My objective is to transform this subject into a photographic rendering and make it cross over into my world of fine art photography. Let me introduce our subject. It's an Asden SGM DSLR shotgun microphone. It comes as a kit which includes the microphone itself which is built in a solid all-metal body, a removable foam windscreen bearing the Asden brand, a shock mount that attaches to the hot shoe of your DSLR camera, and a 3.5 millimeter mini pin DSLR coil cable to connect the microphone to your camera. It uses a small inexpensive L44 button battery that provides 150 hours of power. This broadcast quality Super Cardioid shotgun mic provides a wide frequency response with very low noise levels. It's a great choice and surprisingly affordable. In fact, I'm recording the audio voiceover with one of these mics attached to my DSLR camera. And it sure produces great sound, doesn't it? Now it's time to apply some creative ideas and stylings for this art project. Here's the microphone set up on my camera. On the motion side of this video, I have many post-production creative choices. I could add some blues to my underscore and give it a nightclub vibe. Or perhaps I'd like to show off Asden's useful DSLR shotgun mic using some old vintage stylings, like an old family movie. Maybe the high-tech thing is a better presentation option. Well, quite frankly, no matter how you show it, the Asden SGM DSLR shotgun microphone is the perfect choice for getting professional sound with your DSLR camera. Go to asdencorp.com for more information on this and all their fine pro audio products. While you're there, you can easily find a dealer near you. Now it's time for me to turn my product shot into a work of art. I photographed the Asden SGM DSLR microphone mounted on my camera using a green screen in order to easily knock out the background in Photoshop. I opened my photograph in Adobe Camera Raw, made some minor adjustments, then brought it into Photoshop. I was ready to begin manipulating the photo and cross the line separating product shot and work of art. After saving the image, I duplicated the background layer. I'm working on a Mac version of Photoshop. While holding the command key, I clicked the layer icon to add a new layer behind the duplicated background layer. I filled this layer with a dramatic color. This would make it easy for me to see the mask I would need to create to completely key out the green screen. Using the selection tool, I created a pretty clean mask without too much effort. Now the camera, with its mounted Asden SGM DSLR microphone, was isolated from the green screen background. I was ready to get the creative juices flowing and turn this basic product shot into a fine art rendering. I have a series of files that are oil painted canvas looking backgrounds that I keep in my resources folder. I chose one that I found interesting, copied, then pasted it above my magenta layer. If I stopped right here, we might agree that this makes for an interesting product shot for our Asden microphone. I'm going to go much further with my stylizations and make the entire image look painterly. I saved my work in progress. Next, I merge all the layers to the top by pressing Command Option Shift E. This composite merge technique allows me to make changes that will affect the entire merged image at once. The new version of Photoshop has a cool filter called Oil Paint. It's worth a try to produce some first phase interesting patterns to your work. Zoomed in to 100% lets you see what's changing. I always like to duplicate my layer before introducing a new effect. It makes it easy to get back to the point where I was happy with my work in case something goes wrong. I'm going to use a filter from the Topaz Simplify 4 plugin. This utility has a tremendous variety of presets from which to choose. Clicking on one will render its look. When you find what you like, you can make further adjustments using their built-in tools. Then apply that filter effect to your layer. I've chosen this bright and dramatic filter that makes me think of something Andy Warhol might have created. As I'm thinking about this filter choice further, I realize that this looks very much like the illustrations of an artist that worked across from me in Monterey, California many years ago. His name was Leroy Neiman. He was an amazing illustrator who produced vibrant artwork. I like the results with this striking vibrance and saturation. I don't like the green tones on the camera though. 
To overcome that, I'll add a hue and saturation adjustment layer, use the properties dialog to adjust the hue to get rid of those green tones. The background has no texture, so I'm gonna do another composite merge and do something about it. After finding an artistic filter that boosts texture, I use the mask to hide and reveal different parts of the image. Those choices are simply an exercise of my artistic license. I want to increase tones in the shadow areas to boost contrast. Another composite merge up to the top and then save my work in progress. By cycling through the various layer blend modes using the shortcut keys Option Shift plus or minus, I can see how this top layer affects the look of my image. The Multiply Blend Mode takes this project to a new level. I like that. Nonetheless, I know that for a project like this, Hard Mix could be interesting. Or perhaps the Hard Light Blend Mode. Looking at the difference between Hard Mix and Hard Light, I see that Hard Light gives me more gentle tones in the darker regions. Hard Mix, on the other hand, causes a posterized look that I don't want. I'll add a layer mask, use my paintbrush with a soft edge to bring back some of the areas of texture that were lost. Merge everything to the top again and save my work. There you have it, what a great look and quite a departure from the original image.